G'day, my name's John Barry for creativecow.net. This tutorial is for working with titles in Premiere Pro. This applies for version 2 and version 3. Alright, now you might be saying, well, I've got four different interviews I've got. I've got different people for each one. Okay, not a problem. This is how to go about it. You can either double click on the template that you've got and then start making the change. Okay, and now I'm going to go to title, new, based on current title. Now I get to name this, alright? Caroline IV for Caroline interview. Now when I close this, I've got my template and I've got one for Caroline. Alright, let's go to the very end here and we'll drop this sucker in. Now we can see we've got a template. Uh huh. Now you know what's happened there. I've gone and made this change to the original. Alright, let's try this again. Let's undo a couple of times. See if we can't get back my name. There we go. Now this is where a lot of people are probably having problems. What we did was open the template, started to make the changes, and that's where we've got the problem, okay? What's happening is, I don't know if you've ever noticed this, but you never need to save this thing. You just make a new one and close the interface for the titles and it's updated. That's because every time you make a keystroke or something changes, you're updating the original file. So before you make your changes and then make a new one, open it up, go to title, new, based on current title. Do that first. The other thing is this button here. It's just a shortcut to the same process. Do this bit first. Okay. So now, Caroline interview, it's renamed it for me. Now if I close this, we can see I've already got the Caroline interview here. If I drop this in, we can see they're the same because I haven't made any changes. But if I double click on the Caroline interview, and I open it up, now I start making these changes. Now we're working with the update. Okay, that's updating. Now this is because it doesn't save. It just it updates automatically with every keystroke. I don't even need to close this. I'm just going to push this out of out of sight here. We can see here there it's already updated. It just updates. Okay. I haven't removed that. I haven't closed that. It doesn't save. Alright, it updates. So you need to make sure that you create a new one based on your template and name that one based on who it is that is going to be titled or what the title is and then make the change. Alright, I'm going to show you guys quickly how to go about actually making from scratch a new title into a template. New title, temp. Cut that, put that at the beginning now. Temp, new title. I like to keep things neat and tidy here. I like to know where things are. Alright, let's start off by making temp title. Let's go to title, templates. Go over here and save temp new title as a template. Alright, I'm going to keep it that. Actually, I might call it army. Because it's an army font, really. Alright, now this has now become a new template. Let's see. New template army. Alright, it's as simple as that. For more hints, tips and tutorials, stay tuned to creativecow.net. I will be back soon enough with some more tutorials. I will see you all later.